Hey you guys, um, coming on cam real quick, just to pour out my heart. Got a drink, girl. Um, <clears throat> I've had so many mixed emotions this week. Like, <clears throat> it has been a very stressful, eye-opening week for me. So let me just start off by saying that Mother's Day was eh, okay. I got stuff for Mother's Day, but you know, my husband and I got into a little disagreement. They didn't have, it didn't have anything to do with Mother's Day. We got into a little disagreement while we were out on our date night. And that really set my mood for the whole Mother's Day weekend, baby. But you best believe he got his ass up, took JB, <laughs> went to bed, bath, and whatever, and got me some stuff. Because even though... You know, I was, you know, we were going back and forth. He appreciates the the mother that I am. So, thank you, honey. And so, so that already had me in a the mood. Then, child these birds. Uh, my mother called me two days ago to tell me that my cousin was involved in a really bad accident. And everyone died but him. When I tell you, I was like, What? Now, I'm not gonna sit over here, up here in front and say that this was a cousin I was close with. You guys have to realize, I moved away from Longview, East Texas when I was 17 for college. And so when I went back, I would see people here and there. But this was a cousin that I grew up with. You know, he's um, four years, three years older than me. And those of you from East Texas, this was an accident on the 31. So going in between Kilgore and Tyler, I guess, he was going, he was going to Tyler to drop off the babies at their mom. Y'all, those babies, his three and five year old babies. So I guess what happened is that a guy, the other guy, this is a two lane road, which is very, very common in the country. And so the other guy swerved into their lane and hit them head on. Now he was apparently alive and they tried to pull him out, but they couldn't get him in time, but they were able to pull my cousin out they went over to see the driver, which was a passenger, excuse me, which was his girlfriend at the time. She was dead. And the two babies were already pad. They were still strapped in their car seats dead. When I tell you that that is absolutely. So a part of me, you know, with that was like, I don't need to be upset with anything with my husband. My child is healthy. I have my husband. I, you know, we're all good. I don't need to be, you know, and I was telling my, my best friend was really upset about Mother's Day. And she's like, wait a minute. This woman lost her kids on Mother's Day. I said, yeah. She's like, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I said, I'm, because she was upset too about something else with her husband. And that was like a reality check. Like, but yeah, y'all, I just, then on top of that, I know someone else. I'm not going to give too much information but she is a subscriber she is going through a loss right now <sighs> i was devastated when i saw that you know who you are if you're seeing this i'm still praying for you it's a lot y'all we thought 2020 was a lot but i have a feeling 2021 just started and this it's going to be a roller coaster of emotion and i'm trying to get prepared um and actually, JB just told me too. Oh, um, on the lighter side, there is a homeless person we've been seeing in the neighborhood. And y'all, my, my mom always taught my sister and I to give. And so I'm on a couple of neighborhood groups and people are already complaining about the number of homeless people in the area, which I understand. But there is a woman who is up here and she, uh, Someone posted on our Facebook group that they stopped by, talked to her. She's very sweet, but she's just trying to make her way up to a town that's about 10 minutes away. So when I was taking JB to go get some donuts this morning, I saw her moving her stuff. And it's hot, y'all. It's already in the 90s here in Phoenix. So I'm like, you know what? Let me cover myself real quick, pray. I got my trolley, my extra trolley that I would do for the hair shows. And I went out there and helped her to... Oh shit y'all sorry sorry i went out there to help her to get at least like i don't know how far we walked like half a mile to where she needs to go but the thing is that it looks like she's a hoarder she's hoarding because she had a lot of stuff that she possibly doesn't need and so i told her exactly where to go and i saw her i just saw her going home and she's still sitting somewhere else 
But anyway, you know, even with that, and I told her, I verbatim told her, I said, you need to get out of this neighborhood by night because there are people in this, and she's in, she's in her 40s Hispanic woman, you know, and I said, there are people in this neighborhood who are already complaining. She's got no, the cops have already came by to told, and told me that I need to leave. Y'all, she looks like, you know what she looks like? Y'all remember Home Alone 2 when Macaulay Culkin was with the homeless lady in the park? That's what this woman looks like. She's a heavier set Hispanic woman. She has all this stuff. And so she looks kind of scary if you're a kid. It looks kind of scary, but she's very sweet. And I just talked to her for a bit. You never know what people are going through. You really don't. So it, it, it's really nothing for me to try to help some someone. But the thing that kind of upsets me about this neighborhood is that these folks, very judgmental. Not everyone, but the majority of them. I look, again, I live in North Phoenix. Very judgmental. And I was telling her, I said, yeah, people are already complaining. So, you know, yes, ma'am, you, you need to try to get out of here as soon as possible. So that's why I'm going to help you. But I'm looking around and I'm like, anybody with a truck could just have the, have her sit in the truck and get her stuff. All she's trying to do, y'all, is get five miles, no, like five minutes up the road. And I told her, I said, if I had the room, I would put you in my car. But she has so much stuff. Like, again, she's a hoarder. She has trolleys and buggies. I'm like, you got more stuff than I do. And you're homeless. Um... And so even then I told her, I said, I'm going to be praying for you. And she said, thank you. And I'll be praying for you too. I said, thank you. You know, just a sweet presence about her. And uh, she had a certain, there was confusion there, but there was moments of clarity and peace. Well, she more than likely, she probably has some type. I'm not a, I'm not a psychologist, but more than likely she has probably has some type of mental issues. But with that being said, she's not smoking. She's not drinking. She was picking up everything, everything that she dropped. She made sure to pick it up. So she respects our area. I just don't get these people y'all. Like if, the, if we were in Texas, honestly, she would be up the road by now because we help people out in the South. But these folks up here, child, they're like, I literally saw a comment from one person who was like, that's great that she's you know she's moving her way but she needs to hurry the hell up and get out of our neighborhood i'm like well why don't you help her like she said a couple of people have stopped to help her but they're um oh shout out to angel thank you nizzy naps for helping me gave you giving me some advice on my taxes with youtube girl at first we almost owe youtube i was almost owe taxes but now since she told me girl you better do your um I don't know, y'all. My head is in the in the clouds. Basically, I can, you know, my deductibles for being a YouTuber. I put all that in there, and now we don't owe money. We get a little bit of something back now. So thank you. Shout out to Nezzy Naps for that advice. So y'all, I'm just now. I'm just hug your babies, hug your children. Every, you know, I know some of y'all do it, but really do because life is so fragile. Good morning, good morning, you guys. <clears throat> Girl, my hair looks a mess because I'm like days behind on washing my hair. But it's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Y'all, I'm in a much better mood today. Um, yesterday, I was very weepy-eyed. I spent most of the time on the couch cuddling with JB's ass, and he, girl, even though JP's eight and a half, he still loves to cuddle. Hell, I'm pretty sure most of us would love to cuddle our mom, even grown. I would love to cuddle my mama right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Having a child, especially a small child, makes you realize just how dependent we are on others. Not just our family, our parents, but just on humans and um, just how animalistic we are at our young age. Like JB sniffs, he still sniffs my neck. He sniffs my face. <laughs> so cute. He's like, he smells so good. I'm like, baby. He sniffs my husband top of his head. My husband, girl, my husband be done. He's like, get the hell off. <laughs> Y'all. We finally had my baby's bed delivered yesterday, right? And when I tell you I am done, I'm done. Now I see why nobody go into no damn furniture store. I spent almost 
on a bed and a mattress. There were no box spring. Even the bed itself, it doesn't have the railings to go underneath it. It's just like three railings. I got a grown ass man. He can't, <laughs> he can't sleep on that. So I'm gonna have my husband look at it and see what he, I am pissed y'all. And mind you, we've been waiting on this damn bed since March. I ordered it like mid-March, March 13th, as we went up to the furniture store and got the bed, right? Um, some nice little, um, nice little red bone help the, <laughs> I gotta stop saying that y'all, I'm country. Um, nice little African-American, fair-skinned girl helped us, very young. But clearly her ass was such in a hurry. She was very thorough while we were there. But she was in such a hurry. First of all, I don't even think that's the right bed we that we wanted. I need to go online. Cause JB was, even JB said, he's like, this is not what I thought it would be. I said, no, this is, does not look like what I ordered. Um. So last night in a hurry, I just went ahead and ordered him a box spring. Cause let me back up. I did call the furniture store. I'm like, you guys didn't deliver the entire bed. She's like, well, can you see your order? I said, well, I can't find the paperwork. I literally had the paperwork here. Y'all, I'm really good about keeping stuff. I had the paperwork here for months and all of a sudden I can't find it. So she looks it up in the system, right? Hold on, I'm doing work too. She looks it up in the system. She's like, oh, she didn't get you the box spring. And I said, excuse me, she's like, yeah, she didn't include the box spring. I said, does that make any sense to you? Why would I order an entire bed with a mattress and not get the box? She's like, yeah, I don't, yeah. She, the lady got a little quiet. So I said, so if I order a box spring for you guys, do I have to order, do I have to also do the delivery fee? She's like, yeah, unfortunately, no, uh-uh. $100? No, I'm gonna take my ass to Wayfair. So I got on like Wayfair ordered a box spring mattress for like a hundred dollars which is expensive now in my opinion they used to be like girl i don't know i ordered a box spring spring mattress and while i was at it i went ahead and got me another makeup train case because mine's is broken and i got another i found a really cute bedroom set for us um 70 percent off it was like originally 150 dollars i got it for 50 dollars so yes i got me that <laughs> Hello, hello, you guys. Say hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> so we are on our way. Look, I just did my hair this morning, and I have a video coming for y'all, girl. Wash day with aloe vera plant. I don't like doing shower videos. I mean, who does? So anyway, we're on our way to an indoor playground. I am super excited, not about the indoor, indoor playground, but because I get to get Rudy's barbecue afterwards. Rudy's is based out of Houston, and this place is pretty far, so yeah. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and head out, and I'll film a little bit while we're there. But I have really, that's it for today. We're gonna do that. We're gonna be there for a while. And then my neighbor um, wanted me to come by later on tonight so that JB can play with her um, her nieces and nephews and her daughter and so that we can, yes, girl. My husband can't do that anymore, y'all. He said that it's messing with his lungs because he's when he runs, he can feel a difference. I'm like, well, stop exercising now. My husband runs three miles a day. He said since he's been partaking with me, he's noticed a change when he's um, running. I think it's really allergy season. The man has only done it three or four times. Like, it's not like you a 20 year old, 20 year smoker. I don't know, but hey, if he says that's what it is, but he does eat my edibles. <laughs> Ice cream. Is it burn here? Is it with the 
buttons, the buttons, level M. Ba 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 ba.